Hi everyone, I'm here to do a quick review on the LG um, washer and dryer that we got back in February. I wanted to make sure that we had these for a while and tested them out to make sure, you know, that I, you know, how my feelings were on the washer and dryer and if I thought they were a good buy. Um, I know right now this set has been uh, on sale quite a bit. Um, it's been out for... I believe about a year and um, I'll go over all the specifics about it at the end of the video um, just to go over you know model numbers and um, tub size and uh, stuff like that so um, let's go ahead and get started um, this is a steam washer as you can see here I'm not sure if this lighting's all right or not let me no, that made it worse. Okay, um, so it has the inverter direct drive motion turbo wash. It is energy efficient. It is certified uh, asthma and allergy friendly. Um, it also does come with the smart diagnostics. Basically what that is, is if you have, um, say uh, you have an error message and error messages will be displayed over here in this little area here. And um, what it does is you can call LG and um, they'll have you ask you to put your phone up to your um, washer. They send and then they send a little code, I believe, and um, they can basically diagnose what's wrong with your washer or your dryer over the phone. So that's pretty nice um, to see if it's something major or if something uh, a lot of times they can just reset it over the phone so that's a nice feature um, it does have several um, settings on it it has your steam cycle which are in this red area here you have your uh, cotton normal bulky large heavy duty bright whites and sanitary it also has allergen I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right or the tub clean and the tub clean I use that for um, uh, once a month I put in one of the tablets let me grab this really quick and i can show you i think it's called a fresh is what i use yeah it's called a fresh washer cleaner so i put it in once a month and basically it keeps any kind of build up or keep it from that nasty stench and it's worked really well plus with this washer and dryer um, they do have some monthly maintenance on it well it's actually a couple every couple of weeks um, they ask you to drain the water out and to, to relieve the, the smell. And also on the other side, on your regular cycles, you have your permanent press. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the glare out. Permanent press, delicates, hand wash and wool, towels, speed wash, drain and spin, or any of your downloaded. Um, from what I'm told, you can download um, some uh, additional loads. Coming over to this side, you have your your steam or your fresh care, your pre-wash, child lock, delay wash, add garments. You also have um, your turbo wash, cold wash, extra rinse, or you can choose to have the drum light stay on, I believe. I've never used it, so I'm not exactly sure what it does. And then your rinse and spin. You also have your signal, so you can use your signal, change your signal. Um, you also have your soil level, your spin speed, and your wash temperatures. And, uh, it, uh, it does rinse all of your loads in cold. So if that's something that you don't like, maybe you like to rinse in warm or hot, it doesn't, it's not available. Um, inside, we'll go ahead and open it up. I've loaded it lightly with some uh, items to wash on warm. As you can see, the inside is all stainless steel which is really nice. We'll go ahead and shut that. And it shuts, it does have a, also does have a 10 year warranty on the motor, which is really nice. So I have it set with just medium clothes in there. Normally I just wash it on the normal cycle. So really all you have to do is press your play, what they call the play button. And then what it does is with this one, it is a load sensing. Um, cycle so what it does is it goes in and it determines I'm not sure if it'll show here but what it does is it goes and it weighs your clothes 
So it gives it a little jiggle and then it'll toss it around, give it more of a jiggle. And basically it's, it's determining how much water and how long the cycle needs to be to complete this load, which is a really nice feature because it's not just a general load that is going to um, use a whole lot of water, a whole lot of run time. It does it very quickly and very efficiently. So we'll come back up here and once it's determined um, how much water it needs, it'll give you your time and how long it's going to go. So it has determined that this load will take 26 minutes. It is on turbo wash, which that is an awesome feature. You can get through so much laundry so much quicker um, using the turbo wash feature. So now it is filling with water. I use very little water or very little soap um, when doing my loads, just a, a tiny, tiny bit. So this is the LG washer. It is a steam, again, a steam washer. And again, you put your, your soap and your uh, softener. It also has a pre-wash and your bleach, just like any other washer. And this color here is a newer color for LG. They believe they just came out with this color last year and it is called their black stainless steel which is really nice. Um, it also has the True Balance anti-vibration system, so it shouldn't shake as much. On smaller loads like this, it's pretty quiet. Compared, we had a, um, I believe, a, a Maytag washer and dryer that we recently sold. The We replaced the set because the dryer kind of crapped out. And I didn't want to spend the money to have it fixed just for it to stay in the house. This set will be coming with us when we move. Um, we did buy the five-year extended warranty on it. So it is covered for a total of six years. It has the one year through LG and then we have a five-year extended warranty um, from Lowe's that we got. And then coming down here, we did opt to get the pedestals. And here is the little area that they ask you to clean so basically it's very easy and there's a little tube here and I have a little bucket that I just pull this tube out and you take the plug out and you drain the water after all your water is drained out you just unscrew this pull it out I have a little soft toothbrush that I use just clean the little screen in there and I can show that after the cycle is finished I can show you what that looks like and uh, just give it a quick, quick clean and rinse once every two weeks. It takes me about five minutes to complete this and it clips right back in place. Also has full instructions here for you uh, in case you need instructions on how to do it but after you've done it once it's really quick. And then down here we just have the pedestal sitting on. We're actually replacing this the pedestal with the pedestal washer. So, but we're not going to do that until we move because this washer is extremely heavy. I can't even move it. These are the original hoses it comes with. They just gave these to us. Um, we don't use these hoses. They with the, when you go with a stainless steel washer and dryer set, you will get a matching stainless steel hose set that comes with it. I'm not sure what all this other stuff is. Uh, when Lowe's delivered it, they just put it in there. I'm assuming that's just a tool um, to adjust the feet and to put it on and off the base. So yeah, it has a lot of storage room. I don't really use it for anything other than keeping it set up higher um, just because um, I have um, a really bad back pain and leaning down is, is really hard for me. So we opted to get the pedestals um, to lift them up at a higher, a higher level. And uh, yeah, so that is the washer and the dryer is very nice. I'm not currently running anything right now because I didn't have anything in there. Inside it is all stainless steel again and it does have a little light in there. It lights up really nice. You have your lint tray, very easy to clean and put back in. Put, put that back in and you can simply just close it. It again has the smart diagnostics. If you have any problems with it, 
you just basically call LG, put your phone, they'll ask you to put your phone again up to the item or your appliance and it will diagnose over the phone. Um, when you first turn it on, it does play this little music. I did look at some reviews before I bought this and a lady actually said gave it a bad review because it plays music. So instead of just beeping and then it plays music when you turn it off. It has under your, it is a steam dryer so it does have the steam cycle and sensory sensor dry. You have your cotton normal, bulky large, heavy duty, sports wear, and your antibacterial, steam sanitary, and steam fresh. You also have uh, the permanent press, delicates, and towels, which towels is really nice um, because it knows exactly how your towels should be washed. Um, you also have your manual dry, your speed, which is your speed dry, your freshen up, or your air dry, and again, anything you want to download. On this side, you have, let me turn this on so it'll light up, you have your turbo uh, steam, your reduced static, energy save, default on and off, custom PGM, I'm not really sure what that is. Um, I guess uh, you could look it up. I'm not really sure what it does. I've never used it. Um, more time, less time, wrinkle care, uh, also your child lock, and damp dry signal. So on this one, you also have your dry level, your temperature control, your dry time, and your signal. And those are all the little features that it has. Um, once you select, all the little lights are lit up. So once you switch, you pick a load, it's gonna go highlight that area, which is really nice. Um, if you're just like if you're just doing normal loads, all you have to do is press your play button and it turns on automatically on the normal cycle. So you don't even have to put any thought into it. Um, it is on energy saver. Uh, it is it's saying it's dry and cool and um, your temperature setting would be 57 57 minutes okay if you want to say you forgot to add something you just hit your pause button open it up add whatever you need to add to it close it and push your play again I really like this washer and dryer and I think they're really good value um, I believe this set is currently selling for around $800, I believe, minus the pedestal. And again, if you don't need the pedestal, that's just an extra added expense. But yeah, I can go ahead and show you once this load finishes, I'll go ahead and show you when I move it over to the dryer, um, just how it does uh, pull out, it does spin quite a bit and pulls out quite a bit of water. So it does um, reduce the amount of dry time that you have. And again, they're both on the pedestals and they're very shiny. So yeah, that is uh, the washer and dryer right now. And I'll come back as soon as the load is done and show you that. Okay. So the load just finished up and um, I'm going to take it out of the washer and put it into the dryer. Let me go ahead and open this, turn it on, and I'll start pulling out the clothes out of here. And as you can see, they're pretty dry. I mean, they're really pretty dry. So I'm going to move these over t from the washer to the dryer and start my next load. So as you can see, it's this is one of my husband's work shirts, and it's pretty dry. I just said, all right. And sometimes it dries so well, things sometimes get stuck to the top, but not this time. So I've moved everything over to the dryer. And again, it's just a basic uh, load. So I'm just going to go ahead and press the play button to get it started. And off we go. So again, this is like one of the best washer and dryers I've ever purchased. I think it is 
so phenomenal in the way it's able to get through so many loads. I can literally get through all my loads in one day when normally it would go into a span of a couple of days. Um, let me go ahead and show you on here. This is the model number of this particular washer and dryer. And as you can see here, the model number is WM4370 HKA. And this one is the black stainless steel. I'm not sure if that um, is coded specifically for them. But yeah, this is the inside of it. And again, it is a nice stainless steel. And this is after having it for since February. And here we are in November. Really easy to clean out the lip. Here you just pull it back. I pull it back uh, after every couple of loads. Clean it out, wash it out, and when it is not in use, I just leave it slightly open like this, and it dries out. And I don't have the stench of, um, you know, that moldy, awful smell that you would normally get. Um, let me go ahead and stop this really quick, and I'll go ahead and show you the model number of this one. And the model number of this particular one, if it'll focus is DLEX4370K. So that is the model number of that one, in case you were interested. And again, it is always, these these are pretty much always on sale. I believe they're around $899, 800 to $899. Um, I did get ours a little bit cheaper. My mom, at the time I purchased these, was working at Lowe's. She was a man, one of the managers at Lowe's. So I was able to get her discount, so I saved 10% on the set. Um, I believe that occasionally Lowe's has um, special deals that you can pick these up um, through with their credit card. Um, and again, uh, I believe Home Depot has the same uh, deal as well. I cannot say enough great things about this washer and dryer set. I absolutely love it and think um, it was worth every penny. Um, I was actually looking at a different set. Um, they're more expensive set, but I'm really glad that I decided to go with this one. It's a beautiful set. It's a very efficient set. And if you were looking for um, a new washer and dryer, I absolutely cannot say enough great things about this one. Um, so check it out and see what you think. Um, if you have any comments or questions or anything else that I did not answer for you in this video, uh, just leave those questions for me below and I will try to get those answered for you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.